in regards to some of the best pure scores in the NBA, what Devin Booker brings to the table is quite scary. From his elite footwork to his incredible textbook form, but now he's really emerged and has became one of the most efficient scores in all of basketball. He's also a player who's quite underrated when it comes to his playmaking type capabilities. Now he hasn't had the best winning resume in the world, but the truth of the matter is that he has time to really figure it out. This is the Devin Booker story. Devin Booker was born on October 30th, 1996 in Grand Rapids, Michigan. He spent the majority of his childhood with his mother, Veronica, as his father, Melvin, played professional basketball overseas for 11 years before retiring in 2008. And at a very young age, it was clear that he had a very big passion for basketball. He really wanted to take after his father. Now, despite playing overseas, his dad made a special effort to come back home during his breaks in his schedule to really develop and coach Devin. Now, he also wanted to make sure to instill in his son the importance of having a high IQ to go along with the great skill set while he was still young. Booker began his high school career in Grand Rapids at Granville High School. As a freshman, he found himself splitting time on the freshman JV and varsity team. Also at this time, his father would fly up to his games from Mississippi, where he would be situated after retiring from his professional career. Melvin wanted Devin to move in with him once he got to high school and eventually Prior to him starting his sophomore season, he would do it, transferring to Moss Point High School in Mississippi. Melvin's ultimate goal was to really challenge his son by getting him exposed to playing in tougher environments. He would take him into local parks and outdoor blacktops, and this would ultimately develop Booker's grit. It challenged him as he was a lot of times pushed around more times than he was expected to. So it really did trigger him to have to find different ways to hold his own. Going into his sophomore season, he was a lot more developed and seasoned to the down south basketball culture. He went on to average 23 points while winning the South Mississippi Player of the Year. So during his junior season, things would be a bit different because he was switched to point guard. And with the ball being in his hands more times than not, it just opened up a lot of more scoring opportunities for him. He averaged 30 points per game and the offers would start pouring in from schools like Kentucky, Michigan State, Duke, and North Carolina. But as a senior, he became his school's all-time leading scorer, and he managed to do that while only attending the school for two and a half years. He also was averaging 30 points per game. Now, after being listed as a five-star recruit and becoming a McDonald's All-American, he decided to sign a letter of intent to play basketball at the University of Kentucky. With him joining a stacked powerhouse, which consisted of three fellow five-star recruit freshmen, Devin came off the bench for most of the season, and at times, he looked like one of the more so dynamic scorers on his team. He was a big part in his team winning 38 straight games until they lost to Wisconsin in the Final Four. He shot 41% from three and 47% from the field, and after just one year in school, he made the decision to put his name in the 2015 NBA Draft. He would be selected 13th overall by the Phoenix Suns, and would begin the season coming off the bench but midway through due to a lot of injuries on the team Booker was forced to start and by a lot of people's surprise he did not disappoint he averaged a solid 14 points and finished fourth in rookie of the year voting and was named to the all rookie first team over the next couple of years they would fail tremendously in making the playoffs now, despite his team digressing year after year, he was an emerging superstar, showing clear signs of a perfect franchise piece to build around. And on March 24, 2017, at just the age of 20, Booker became the youngest player ever to score 70 points in a game. But as the Suns continued to show a lack of progression, Booker was tired of losing and the front office was being tarnished for wasting Devin's career, which led the organization to make a lot of important moves and things would start slowly falling into place. 
Devin would get surrounded by some of the best pieces that really complemented his playstyle, which allowed Booker to thrive. So much so to whereas in the 2019-2020 season, he became a first-time All-Star, but he did not stop there. He helped lead his team to an 8-0 record in the 2020 NBA bubble. But still, their 26-39 record in their first 65 games to start this season really dug them into a hole which forced them to miss the playoffs despite the restart in the bubble. At around that time, it was clear that they were one piece away from being a playoff contender team. So for the next season, the Phoenix Suns acquired Chris Paul. It's safe to say that his leadership has rubbed off on the young core in a positive way. And the impact of Chris Paul has only allowed Devin to improve. Now, after the two became all-stars in the 2021 playoffs, they helped lead their team to as far as the second seed in the Western Conference, but they did end up losing 4-2 in the NBA Finals against the Milwaukee Bucks. As a unit, they were convinced to run it back. Booker averaged 27 points while becoming a three-time all-star. The team experienced a tremendous amount of success, managing to have the best record in all of basketball. They made it as far as the West Western Conference semifinals against the Mavericks. But in game seven, Luka Doncic had his way. And surprisingly, Devin didn't score a field goal until five minutes left in the third quarter. After the Suns got completely embarrassed, they have been referred to by a lot of people as pretenders. During the offseason, the Phoenix Suns agreed to a four-year max extension worth $224 million. But fast forward until today, Booker has been putting up 24 points, 5 assists, and 4 rebounds per contest. He even put up 51 in a win against the Chicago Bulls to go along with 4 rebounds, 6 assists. And he did that in just 31 minutes across the first 3 quarters. Booker also shot 20 of 25, 6 of 7 from 3. Devin has been doing this without his backcourt vet, Chris Paul, who has been out for the majority of the season. Despite that, Booker has been able to put matters in his own hands, like leading the Phoenix Suns to the best record in the stack Western Conference. He's shown so far that every single night that he plays, he has been performing like a superstar. Throughout Devin Booker's process, he's really took time to learn from some of the best vets the NBA has ever seen. And even with him at times being underappreciated, his grit and competitive mindset is what no doubt enabled him to be one of the best three-level scorers in all of basketball. It's the same group, you know, my family, you know, my mom, dad, brother, sister, my core unit, uh, my friends around me, you know, they they all haven't changed. and. You know, they're along, along this journey with me. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Devin Booker story.